There is a holy and divine sacred energy. It's coming in from the left, but it is moving into our sacred hearts. So we simply breathe the holy sacred in breath and out breath consciously aware that there is a divine presence among us. And so we bring attention as it seems to move or how we interpret this from the left and into the heart. There is a radiant one, a profound, radiant being of immense love and light. And I acknowledge this being holding the most brilliant and highest form of unconditional love. And energy, when come close to it, your eyes would simply tear. And all we are to do in this holy and sacred moment, as this sacred space is anchored, as we put intention and attention in the area of the heart, as we now acknowledge and affirm that each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath increases and anchors this radiant energy that is love undescribable moving into our individual and collective hearts. Each and every breath is sacred as this energy continues to expand through our hearts, creating a frequency, creating a dynamic of where we will do this sacred work in higher service. What we now see in our spiritual eye wherever we find our physical bodies. We're seeing a pink and purple hue, but it is as a whirlwind. It is a container. If you can imagine plexiglass and then filling inside this round container like a swimming pool, and in it is swirling this pink and violet cloud-like substance. And it is moving counterclockwise. And you see it in front of you. This swirling energy being co-created by the one who holds such radiant light and unconditional love moving through us, through our hearts and pouring into this container that moves and is organic. See this clearly in your spiritual eye. If you were sitting in front of a swimming pool on the ground that's round, but it had plexiglass so you could see through it. So just imagine and see in your spiritual eye this whirling cloud-like substance. And we look at it and we see the colors pink with some purple. Pink with magenta. So it is this frequency color spectrum that is moving counterclockwise 
swirling around and around. And this is being created from the outpouring of not only our own higher heart of compassion and unconditional love in its frequency color codes, but also from the most radiant one who is here among us. We simply allow ourselves to move deeply within this frequency that comes beyond levels that we are not able to comprehend a most radiant love, a most radiant light coming into form that we can comprehend and using symbols that we can work with. See clearly now, there are those radiant ones that come beside us for we work together in a very, very powerful experience and service. We are now in a frequency band deep within this love, able now to connect with all the radiant ones who come ministering for this great radiant being. As we stand around with the most radiant ones who are here to assist and help uplift and anchor more deeply to the earth. As you would look into a looking glass, we begin to peer into this whirling cloud-like substance of such beauty and radiance. It's beyond description, but it seeks you to peer into it to look deeply into it. And so what our spiritual eyes we do, and we move into a most beautiful, beautiful place. There is a castle-like structure. And you see this clearly in your spiritual eye, a most magnificent garden, a most magnificent garden that has been curated with such beauty that all that are in it and around it stay in awe. This place, this frequency enhances the unconditional love frequency, the sacred pink, magenta, purple, Radiance we can see in its atmosphere. It has the hue of this beautiful swirling energy moving counterclockwise and bringing us deeper and deeper into its source. As we now take our individual paths, walking through this garden, so magnificent. And in the midst of it is a castle-like structure. If you could think of Gothic structure, architecture, and it is glistening with white, the brightest white. And we realize that this white brilliance coming from this structure resides in the upper worlds, resides in the crystalline worlds, resides beyond Azuluth. And as you could imagine, a hologram this is a hologram 
of the magnificence of what is in the upper worlds. We are able now to have exposure to this consciously as angelic beings continue to surround us to hold the frequency so we may participate, integrate. We simply take a moment to be still, breathing the holy sacred in-breath, knowing how precious and powerful it is at this moment. There's a sense of great empowerment. There's a sense of loving support, acknowledgement. And indeed, a sense of honor. We simply allow the energy to work in and through us as we continue to picture this magnificent location that we know is representative of a real reality bite in the ascended worlds of light. And as we stroll along, observing very clearly what it is that we are seeing, we see that there are those radiant beings of light that begin to appear as they stroll through this very special place. And as they come towards us, we sense their joy and their happiness. And they've come to greet us and to welcome us in this most marvelous, beautiful, radiant place. We also realize it's a place of respite, a place of rest, a place of support and healing. We feel the frequency moving in and through our physical bodies and all parts of ourselves, even as we experience this and this ascended frequency, all parts of ourselves are participating at the same time. We understand that this is a special nectar of the gods nectar of those radiant ones who come in loving support and upliftment. These radiant ones beaming with their smiles and their love for us. And now they come and join us along with the angelics in service as the most radiant one to do our work. And as we now come together, we collectively hold the sacred earth, Earth Mother Gaia, known by many names. And we bring her to this Garden of Eden, this most magnificent place in our spiritual eye. And as we are in the midst of this, we now see her clearly in this place. And we see that mist that we are still part of, moving from the left to the right, swirling. And we now, through our intention, as great healers, 
great teachers, we now direct this healing nectar, this balm over her, moving left to right, left to right. And as we see her in the midst of this radiant pink, magenta, purple mist, swirling, swirling, she is in the midst of it. And we see the codes and the energy, the colors, and indeed the sounds moving around her, in her, and through her. And as we hold this sacred time, this moment, we clearly see that the energy codes of this mist that swirls around goes into all the crevices, into all areas of her sacred holy body. We see it moving in the seven levels of her body, from the most dense to the most etheric. All consciousness is touched. All consciousness is touched. For it is like a permeable forest moving in through the nooks and crannies, moving, nothing can block it. It is of this energy that indeed the children of light and the Amisha Dai, the family of light, moving into this dynamic for the ascension in the rebirth of the new earth. And so as we do this, we are ever aware of our surroundings and the energy that it emanates, the beauty that we are a part of. We are in a state of awe in its magnificence, and this energy is used to continue to move in and throughout this sacred grace and blessing to the sacred earth and all of her life. <clears throat> there is a sense of peace that settles and touches all consciousness upon the earth. Even if it's only momentary, it impacts all consciousness upon the earth. We hold our positions. knowing that as we do this, as the children of the earth, the children of light, to work in this higher realm, to bring forth the higher codes, the higher healing for the sacred earth and all of her life. See this clearly in your spiritual eye as this porous, cloud-like material just continues to wash over the sacred earth, penetrating all aspects and all levels of her body, all consciousness anywhere around the sacred earth, within it, around it, beyond it, is touched with this substance. We can say it is the nectar of the gods and is the re-remembering of the new earth, the new Eden, the new Genesis, manifesting and coming together in the not too distant future for the sacred earth in her great transformation and the transformation of our children. Take these moments now simply to focus with intention. Continue to do this sacred work, seeing clearly in your spiritual eye the swirling and whirling of these energetic codes that are expressed in the colors of pink, magenta, and purple. Transformative, healing, and uplifting all consciousness 
all consciousness is touched. Stay very focused even as you go deeper and deeper into this sacred energy. And as you continue to move the energy, be mindful of the beauty that surrounds you. Good. Hold your positions. It is the energy of the beauty frequency that infuses the work to bring it to its highest vibratory rate of great transformation and transmutation. Holding the beauty participating with intention and focus. And as you do this for the sacred earth, know too it's being done for you. The higher codes of transformation, transmutation, and higher transcendence. Coding you now. Remember this feeling and this sense. It is specific vibration. It requires quiet, 
meditation, but it is a specific frequency that can be attainable again. Cleared, refreshed, and renewed. Clear, refreshed, and renewed. Clear, refreshed, and renewed. And now, the thought of the return comes, that part of ourselves that beckons us, reminding us that we are to be back fully into the body for the important work that we do in that body. But a re-remembering of our true essence and consciousness travels and moves to paradise worlds. With that now, the swirling of the counterclockwise, moving in through and around the sacred earth and all of her levels and all of her life begins to slow down and begins to dissipate. We find ourselves within the swirling, and now we are out of the swirling, perceiving it as we started. And as we look at this one more time, it begins to dissipate and move to its source in the higher realms of light. And all those who have participated now begin to draw in their electromagnetic field as we know to draw in ours, to become more focused into coming into our physical bodies and being grounded and connected to the earth. On the count of three, we are going to prepare ourselves to be back, awake, and fully alert. One, two, take a deep breath in, and three. We are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. <laughs> 